Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Hello and welcome to episode 41 of the podcast, the best bits of Atom Radio's drive time. This is Mark from Drive Time on 3 till 7, Monday to Friday on atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio and on your smart speaker. Speaking of iTunes Radio, by the way, I noticed something the other day. If you listen on iTunes Radio, the song now playing info comes up. If you listen on TuneIn, it doesn't. And I don't know why it doesn't on TuneIn, but it does. If you want to listen on iTunes Radio, then you'll also know exactly what we're playing as and when we're playing it. Now, this will be the 41st episode of the the podcast. It is week 16 of 2019. Next week, if you are listening on Monday, being Easter Monday, we're doing an 80s date on Atom Radio. Between 7 and 7, nothing but 80s next week for you. So I will be doing breakfast 7 until 10, Monday to Friday. And then I'm having Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday off. Yes, I am. In the podcast this week, middle lane drivers, such an annoyance. The importance of your sense of smell, a health remedy that's actually a huge turn off. Hmm. Uh, monetizing a tourist attraction. And speaking of health, a very, very, very happy hay fever relief has been discovered by scientists. I don't know if this is true or if these scientists are just looking to get very, very happy. Anyway, all that and more on the podcast this week. Episode 41 kicks off now. Denim, Denim. Ava Max, and so am I on atomradio.co.uk. I want to talk about driving. Middle lane hoggers, what are you doing? I don't do a lot of motorway miles, but on Saturday and Sunday, I travelled up to Coventry from Slough for the ice hockey final four okay and i wasn't driving graham bell from breakfast uh, also drove he was doing the commentary i was doing the color commentary and graham drove but the number of times we had to move out two lanes to overtake middle lane hoggers what are you doing why can you not move back over it's just so 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 irritating isn't it it still happens on the motorway And that was apparently supposed to be being stamped out as well. But it does still happen on the motorway. Why? Why can't you just move over? You know, I just prefer the middle lane. I don't see why I can't just sit in it. Don't be so dumb. Drive time with Mark Denny. Have you ever considered the importance of your sense of smell? Apparently, 80% of the flavour of food comes from the smell. So, yeah, that's why people lose their appetite when they've got a cold, because they can't smell the food. Again, danger. Danger. Smell can highlight danger. Certain smell can act like a a punch in the gut or like in the arms of a loving embrace, you see. So smell is very, very important. Um, Tinder, it suggested, should add, before you swipe left or right, a uh, sniff and scratch system, because part of the way you pick your partners is based on how they smell Um, and... Obviously, if they've got bad BO, then that's a, an instant no. But, you know, some people do smell much, much nicer than others, don't they? And health. Uh, a lack of smell could signal big problems for you as well. So, yeah, do um, have a little sniff and just make sure you can check what's smelling around you. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denner. The big drive home on Atom Radio, streaming around the world from our humble little studios here in Slough. This school photograph incident then, a nine-year-old girl cut off her own fringe and it's it's an horrendous haircut, it really is. But what I absolutely love here is it says a nine-year-old girl accidentally cut off her own fringe. How do you accidentally cut off your own fringe? I mean, how? Her mum, however, has uh, purchased the photo uh, just days later in order to uh, to haunt her. She's decided to trim her own fringe just before the picture after her mum left her alone for a couple of uh, moments. Her uh, mum has then purchased the photo just two days after cutting herself a new fringe in a bid to embarrass her later down the line. Now she's sharing the hilarious photos and they've gone viral. I have to say, it is an horrendous haircut. I don't know quite what she thought she was doing, but it's an horrendous haircut. The average nine-year-old probably doesn't have 
the uh, the hair cutting skills needed yet to trim a decent fringe. Mark Denham, Denham. Hello, it's ten past three. It is Thursday, and you got Mark with you online at atomradio.co.uk, on TuneIn, on iTunes Radio, and on your smart speaker playing the music you want to hear. So your poll for Thursday, by the way, you missed a good one yesterday, but your poll for Thursday, yesterday's was about secrets. Today's though, what do you do more, text, iMessage, or that's one choice, by the way, text or iMessage? Because for those that don't have iPhones, they can't iMessage. So. Native message, let's call it that. Text or SMS, or do you WhatsApp more? So which one? Text slash SMS uh, slash iMessage or WhatsApp? Vote either one of those. So just vote text or vote WhatsApp. It's on Twitter, at UCASM Radio. That's where it'll be. You've got to be a Twitter user to take part in it. Go give it a go. Have your vote in today's Daily Decider. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denner. Which is some form of, well... Hocus Pocus story, really. A vegan yoga master hasn't had a cold in 20 years and he believes he knows the answer why. 41-year-old yoga master Sam Cohen claims he's not had a cold in nearly 20 years because he fills his nostrils with his own pee every time he uses the loo. Oh, dirty Bertie. He says it cures, though, all the ills, and that the special needs teaching assistant also claims it works wonders for his sex life, but he is currently single. I'm not surprised, if I'm honest. Drive time with Mark Denham. Thursday's drive time. I am disgusted by this Sam Cohen, right? He's currently single, but he does snort his own pee in an effort to try and make himself healthy. Can you imagine his online bio then on the old dating site? Sam, 41, vegan, into yoga and pee snorting. Not looking for hookups. Can you imagine that, eh? It's crazy, isn't it? News for four is on the way on the big drive home on Atom Radio after Toto. Absolute classic from the 80s. This is Africa. Drive time with Mark Denner. did mention for you earlier that uh, you're going to have to be 18 to visit the adult websites. Well, a US man is now suing his parents after they destroyed his massive pornography collection, which he claims was worth £22,139. His parents admit dumping the 12 boxes of films and magazines, which included... Top, well, we, we won't go... Oh, big bad grannies. Say no more. The 40-year-old from Indiana moved into their home in October 2016 after a divorce, but in court papers, he says when he moved out 10 months later, they delivered his things to his new home, but his collection was nowhere to be seen. And, well, he's now suing for the apparent value of his collection. Um... I'm... Do you know what? Like, big bad grannies it is that's got me. Come on. Seriously? I'm shocked at that. I really am. What on earth? Drive time with Mark Denny. Wait, 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 you say. It's not Friday. I know it isn't. It's Thursday. But it is the weekend, really, isn't it? Because tomorrow's a public holiday... And Monday's a bank holiday. You've got your four-day weekend. Therefore, lover boy, I'm working for the weekend 24 hours early tonight. You see, we're all right, though. I don't mind. It's all right with me if it's all right with you. I have got something awesome on the way for you from Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers to play. I love that. Real summer vibe to it. After uh, Roses, which is after James and Sit Down. I sing myself to sleep. Drive, 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 drive time with Mark Denner. If you're going to San Francisco this summer and you plan to drive down the famous Crooked Street, you could soon have to pay for it. Uh, the local residents have complained that Lombard Street, that's its official name, or it's just otherwise known around the world as the famous Crooked Street, feels more like an overcrowded amusement park than a neighbourhood thoroughfare. An estimated 6,000 people visit the 600-foot-long street every day during the summer. Officials have announced that they may very well be charging £7.63, which is 10 US dollars, to drive down the road. This would help them establish a toll and a reservation system in an effort to reduce crowds and traffic congestion. It will be used to help for the pay for the reservation system, pay for more traffic control officers, increase police patrols in the area, and tourism ambassadors as well. You know, now, like, everyone's seen it, haven't they, this thing? You've either driven down it or you've seen it somewhere on YouTube, but it's going to cost you now to do it. £7.63 per drive, I would imagine. 
because, you know, it's, well, it's one of these things, isn't it? You know, I've driven down the famous Crooked Road, but now you're going to have to take £7.63 with you or 10 US dollars for the privilege of doing so. If you're going to San Francisco, book your holiday before this comes in and save £7.63. This is Haircut 100 and Fantastic Day. Mark Denham, Denham. 320, it is the big drive home on a Friday. Now, Prince Philip handed in his licence, didn't he? Famously handed in his licence after his uh, crash last year. He is back behind the wheel, driving uh, around on private land at Windsor Castle. Um, and I love that this is a news story as well. Prince Philip has been spotted back behind the wheel of his new Land Rover for the first time since surrendering his licence. The 97-year-old Duke of Edinburgh was seen driving through the grounds of Windsor Castle yesterday as the Queen attended the Maundy service at the nearby St George's Chapel. He was obviously a bit bored, wasn't he? I thought, ah, I'll go for a spin, a few handbrake turns. See if I can keep all four wheels on the ground this time. Drive time with Mark Denham. Uh, Investigators now believe that an electric short circuit was the most likely cause of the Notre Dame Cathedral fire. So say police. A French judicial police officer said investigators still don't have the green light to work in the cathedral and search the rubble for safety reasons. At the moment, the monument is still being consolidated with wooden planks to support some fragile parts of the walls. This got me thinking, like, you know, if a modern building falls into a state of disrepair, take, for example, the Roman nightclub in Maidenhead, which caught fire. Um, That was scheduled to be demolished anyway and has been demolished. But at what point in time do you differentiate between a derelict building and ruins? Because people do go and visit ruins, don't they? Like the remnants of buildings that were built a thousand years ago. People go and visit them. But at what point do you say... Oh, no, that's derelict, or, ah, yeah, that's ruins. Let's go visit it. How do you tell the difference? I don't get it. Drive time with Mark Denham. Atom Radio plays Jade Byrne, and I get no joy. Maybe if you have hay fever, you will. Scientists say, uh, this is a team of scientists from Iran, reckon that having more sex will help you fight the symptoms of hay fever. Sex constricts blood flow in the nose and eyes, which in turn unblocks stuffy noses and stops eyes from running. Not only that, it's uh, apparently cheaper than getting the hay fever remedies. Of course, that's unless you get pregnant. Then it's certainly not a cheap thing at all. But if this is true, and Iranian scientists believe that uh, having more sex will possibly be a cure for hay fever, it's obvious, isn't it? It's not the pollen count that will be the only thing that's rising. Atomradio.co.uk Come on then, do you believe that? Is that actually a cure for hay fever? If you get hay fever, should you just spend your whole summer you know, uh, and that's going to solve it. Or is it just like these scientists were perhaps a little hard up and they thought, yeah, if we convince people of that, it's a win-win situation. Who knows? Anyway, if you do have hay fever, then uh, it's going to be very, very high, the pollen count, certainly in the UK this weekend. So I hope you get through it okay. That's it for episode 41 of the Drive Time podcast. Now, Drive Time returns on April the 29th at 3 o'clock through until 7 o'clock. I'm doing breakfast on Monday, Easter Monday is 80s day. I will be on between 7 and 10 in the morning and then returning to drive time on Monday, the 29th of April. Happy Easter to you. Thank you, as always, for checking out the podcast. You can listen online anytime, atomradio.co.uk. On mobile via the free tuning app, you can get us on iTunes Radio and on Smart Speaker too. I'll be back Monday morning, 7 a.m. for breakfast and then on the 29th of April, for drive time returning in well 10 days from now's time